Hello friends of the channel, I've got another haul video for you today. These are all things that came through the door in the last two weeks. Fairly light this time, um, which is okay. Sometimes that's that's okay. A um, little, uh, a lot more, I guess it's more Star Wars this time, when Star Wars is my bread and butter, my meat and potatoes, so that's a good thing. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is I did pick up my order from Entertainment Earth of phase two and or clone troopers i picked up four um there's one mint on card that i put in the mint on card pile i don't know if you can see here this one did come smash there the bubble um but i picked out the best one and put that away i'm going to probably give these to my son um, i actually like the last uh phase two the skinny one i do actually like it but i had to try these out my son wanted some too um, so I will get to play around with these a little bit, but I am probably going to give these three to him. Um, I did find at one of my local targets, I do have this figure on pre-order, but I found it on the peg, so I had to grab it. It is the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi Admiral Piet. So this is my, my first Admiral Piet. I did pre-order this one as well, and it just hasn't come in yet. Um, but it's a good looking figure. Excited to open this one. So I found him. And then at GameStop, um, I went the whole month without really going to GameStop. I went one time and I didn't find anything. And I had to use my $5 off um, coupon. I waited till the last week. And they had a whole bunch of vintage collection stuff there, but I had it all already. So I basically picked out the one I thought was the best of what they had. And used my $5 off gift card. And so I picked up another Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper. They did have uh, the red one. Uh, the Super Commando Captain. The Ahsoka was there. Um, who else was there? I can't remember who else was there. But they had a, several good ones. But I thought, you know what? If I've got to get another double, I'm going to get an army builder. And I thought this guy was a little bit better than this one. I like them both a lot, but I thought this one actually was a little bit better, so I picked him up, put him right there, push this down a little bit right there, okay. Now, um, that, so that's all the Star Wars stuff I got. Um, I did grab, so I've been seeing a lot, I think it's, um, what are they called, the Four Horsemen? They pushed out, I think it's Four Horsemen, or, yeah, I think it's them. They've been doing a Monkey King, I saw like a Monkey King figure, and I remember that there used to be a 118 Monkey King figure, so I went online and I found someone um, in China who had one of these, and so I finally picked it up. This figure's a couple years old. Um, I thought I would grab it. I thought it was a good time. I've been seeing it a lot. Kind of like my last video of the Serpentor, I saw that the 112 guys were getting this Monkey King and I thought, you know what? I need a Monkey King, but in my scale. So I went and picked this one up. Journey to the West Monkey King. He looks kind of weird, but it's a different figure. You know, it's a different, it adds a little something to my collection. I'm gonna use him in my fantasy stuff. Um, cool card. It is um, collector friendly, can be resealed. Yeah, I picked him up. So something a little different. And then a buddy of mine, uh, World's Finest Action Figures on Instagram. If you don't, uh, if you're on Instagram, please follow him. He's got a great collection of stuff. He messaged me and was like, "You've got to grab some of these." And so I did. I grabbed two. This is the uh, Grindhouse Toys Dread Trooper. It comes in this like VHS-looking tape, tape box. Um, very premium look, very premium feel. Comes with four separate heads. Opens like that. There's the figure in there. Some directions, like a movie card or a movie, yeah, movie membership card to Grindhouse Toys. You can find these on the Grindhouse Toys website. I was able to grab two of them. They are fairly expensive. I wish I could have got more. Hopefully they'll be around and I'll be able to get a few more maybe next month, but I did pick up two of those. And that's pretty much my haul, guys, for the last two weeks. I did get a haul from my local toy show that I went to last Sunday. 
but I actually did a live sort of opening or uh, showing of that stuff on my Instagram account. If you go to my Instagram account, the very last video that I did on there is that um, showing off that stuff from that toy show. If you're on Instagram, please check it out and please follow me over there. Um, I do do a live every other Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific time on my Instagram. So please check it out if you're interested to see what I've got there. And then I've got one more thing I'll show you. If um, if hopefully you saw my last Serpentor video, I wanted I, I let you guys know that I was going to be getting a, a comic book to display with the, the Serpentor. I do have it here. It did show up after that video was posted. And it is this one here. It's an IDW one-shot Serpentor uncoiled. This is a uh, a reprint of the first two issues, so it's a it's a big it's a big comic of the uh, 1980s, a real American hero um, uh, origin of Serpentor. So I'm going to be displaying this one right behind my chariot, and I think it's going to look pretty awesome. I might switch this out every now and then. I might go and look for some more. Uh, uh, comic books that have Serpentor on the cover to swap out um, but for now this is the one that's going to go there for a while and that is my haul guys thank you guys who have uh, commented and have liked and have left uh, you know messages to me and so on and please subscribe if you haven't I will see you next time bye